Hello and welcome to another build order for the Chinese. This time we are looking at a two town center opening. Let's get started. Just like last time, we start by getting our imperial official and building a mill right next to our town center. You don't have to build it right here. You can also build it next to your berries, but recently I kind of prefer it next to the town center because it shortens the way your official has to go and it makes micring a little easier. Also, don't use any waypoint for your official because he'll spawn right here next to the mill where he has to. After you get your official, the next three villages will go to wood. I mean, like I said, it, it has advantages and disadvantages building the mill here. At the berries, it is still possible. Um, it doesn't change too much about this build order. But an important part is force dropping. So once you see the tax gold reaching a certain amount, so in this case 14 or above, you'll see me force dropping off the rest. So it reaches the critical amount of 20 or above, then we can collect it, uh, I mean collect our tax gold, and place it at the town center so we can supervise the mill again. Be uh, that's only possible because it doesn't matter how much food you drop off, as long as it's just one, it will create one tax gold. After you get your three villages on wood, the next villager will go to food. And again, it reaches 14 and we've got six villages here. So very soon, in this case I waited a bit longer. I force drop off the rest, collect, uh, collect uh, tax gold and supervise the mill again. After we have 7 villages on food, the next 4 villages will go to stone. With this force dropping method, you can build your landmark with only one villager and you can still get your, or at least start, your second town center below 5 minutes. And again, it's 13, we've got 7 villages, so we can force drop. At this point, you can think about a good location for your town center. I usually like to get it next to your hunt, but it doesn't have to go there. Sometimes the hunt is at a difficult place and it's better to get your town center somewhere else. So don't think about the town center that it has to go right next to your hunt. Like I said, it can go somewhere else, but it's preferable next to, uh, next to your hunt. At this point I kind of realize I already have enough food, so I'm force dropping as crazy. Everyone's only collecting one food and then drop off and again, one food and drop off. So in a very short amount of time we can go to 22. So we can collect it and we have enough resources to build our landmark. After you have four villages on stone, all your next villages will go to wood. And it's also important to supervise your lumber camp now. You don't have to build the Imperial Academy, it can also be the Barbican of the Sun. But let's just say the Academy is the greedier option and the Barbican is the safer option. But yeah, it, it kind of depends, let's just say it like that. Now our distribution looks like 6 villages on food, 4 on stone, and our official is supervising the lumber camp. And we've only got one villager to build our landmark. At this point you can also think about getting your second imperial official. Which I'm gonna do very soon. So about 19, 20, 21 population you can get your second official. If you use more villages from food to build your landmark, this is not going to be possible. You can already take a look at your stone, because as soon as it reaches tw uh, 290, you can use all your four villages to drop off the rest, because it, it will always be enough. You can see that soon. So 280, 290, that means you can uh, use all of them, drop it off, and, go, and use all of these villages to build your town center. 
as well as the, as the one who was building the landmark. And there we go. We started our town center below 5 minutes. And we already got a second official on the way where you see... Ah, uh, he's here. He's not on the way, he's already out. So, we are in a... Uh, not so I wouldn't call this a solid economy, but from here on, it's easy to develop your economy with two officials. So, you kind of have to react to what your opponent is doing. Build the right military buildings at this point, because you will have to f defend it if your opponent scouts this and just attacks you with a ramp push or something. Just be ready to defend yourself. You, from here on, you can go to Sung Dynasty later. You can also skip it and go to Castle Age directly. Like I said, a lot of things can happen from here on and you have to adapt to it. Anyway, I hope you found this build order helpful for you. And if so, consider subscribing to my channel because there are more like this to come. And I hope to see you there. Bye bye.